The power of the true meditation is the power of the Creator Himself to reveal His divine will through our prayer and through our power of imagination. When we open our prayer, the tefillah that known as tefillah Shmona Esre, we're saying the first verse, Hashem, Sfatai Tiftach Tehilatecha. The Creator, we're asking you, please open my mouth, my lips, and my mouth will praise you. So we are revealing, declaring, expressing the fact that we know that without the Creator Spirit, we won't be able to pray. A real master of prayer is a person who knows that the Creator is speaking out of his mouth while he pray. So when we're meditating, when we're praying, we should believe and understand and recognize that the prayer that is coming out of our mouths is the prayer that the Creator put in our mouth. He is the one who sends us and waking us up to pray on certain topics and issues that He is working on changing them and uplifting them and fixing them and correcting them. And we just need to nullify ourselves to that inner awakeness that takes place inside our own souls as we pray. There is a wonderful situation described in the Gemara, in the Talmud, that a righteous man named Rabbi Ishmael prayed to the Creator. And in his prayer, he saw the Creator. And the Creator asked him, bless me. And then he blessed the Creator in a certain way. And the words that Rabbi Ishmael said to Hashem in his prayer was the same words that are written in a different place in the Talmud about the Creator's prayer on himself. The Creator himself is praying to. And the same words that the Creator is saying when he prays are the same words that Rabbi Ishmael prayed on the Creator when the Creator asked him to bless him. So you see that Ishmael, Rabbi Ishmael enjoyed that, was enjoying the Divine Spirit of landing on the same prayer, using the same words that will suit the one who asked for it, the Creator himself. Exactly what did the Creator wanted him to bless him with, he blessed because he was tuned to the inner voice of his soul that was revealing the godly light of the Creator to him from within. When you go and when you stand and you want to pray, you need to know that that prayer is a prayer that the Creator set and sent to your mouth for you to pray because the Creator wants that prayer to be answered and therefore He puts it in your mouth for you to pray and to be answered. So you need to nullify yourself in that meditation, in that simple prayer to the Creator and just to let that energy flow out of your mouth in a positive way with a mindset of a true believer that knows that all his actions, that's all, that all his thoughts that all his movements, that all his spiritual awake, awakeness is coming from the Creator, from the Master of the Universe Himself, that He loves you and He wants you to rise and He wants you to shine. When certain things happens to you in life, you don't need to break your head to the wall. What does it mean? What is the spiritual intention and, the, and, and, and meaning of that situation? in the most simple way of them all. You just need to ask yourself, what happened to me physically? What did I felt? What I was thinking of? And that's exactly what that you went through spiritually. The spiritual interpretation of a physical experience is just a brighter aspect of the same experience. You just need to relate it to a higher and more divine source of, of goodness that is coming and to understand the message of the Creator to you it becomes a very simple thing. When you understand that the Creator, He is the one who loves you. If you can ask yourself, who is God for me? God is the one who cares about me. God is the one who supports me. God, God is the one who gives me health and life and, and, and supports my work. 
He's the one who believes in me. That is a reflection of who that God is for you. God is the one that you love. God is the one that you want, want to support. God is the one that you want to, to, to bring many people to know him and to enjoy his light. It's all reflection. The light that is shining from within and the light that is shining from outside is the same light that is breaking on that glass, the glass of your soul. And you need to recognize the godliness and the unity between the external message to the inner eternal message that they are both the same, that they're showing the inner existence, the unity of the Creator that lives inside of us and He is the worlds that are surrounding us. And the message is one, pure love and honesty and only truth and only to work to bring out the qualities of our spirits and the qualities and talents and gifts of all our loved ones out to the surface that everyone will be able to reveal their love, to reveal their talents, their hidden wisdom and their true potential to be seen out to the world. A person is sad and broken and depressed when he cannot be who he is. And the opposite is when he is being honored and respected for being who he is, then he starts to grow and to bloom and to illuminate to the world the light that is treasured inside of himself. So we should accept and respect and love and cherish the company and friendship of other people even though they seem very, very different from who we are and they might even contradict many of our thoughts, but it does not make them our enemies. There is enough space and place in the world for all the shades to be seen and everyone will play the part and role that he has been destined to keep in this lifetime. And we should respect each other and to believe that in every one of us, a different shade, a different light, a different spark of godliness is shining and we need to embrace and to accept and to love and to cherish and to appreciate each and every one of the creations of the Creator because we're all treasuring His godly light within and only when we're going to see the great and complete picture we will be able to grasp and understand the greatness of our beloved Father in Heaven. I bless you all and I bless all the souls to wake up from within and to be truthful to the inner message of their being and not to be scared from growing, not to be scared from success, not to be scared to be spiritual and to be brave and brazen, to go with God's will, with God's sword, with God's weapon. It's the power of prayer and to bring change to the world, to pray for complete redemption, for complete health for everyone, for complete healing to the whole wide world, for all the wounded people, for all the sick and, and, and abused and hurt people, for millions of animals and people that are suffering now in Australia from crazy fires all over the, the land, for every person in need, for every person that experienced sorrow and pain and grief, we're with you and we're caring, caring about you and we want your goodness and we want your happiness and your success and you're not alone and we are all one soul that is attached and connected to each other and we're holding hands even if we're suffering from the separation of the bodies, the unity and connection of the spirits and souls is eternal and will never end and the flame will shine and rise and the redemption will soon to come and we will see the glory of heaven taking place in our daily moments on every step of the way we're going to see the creator's light shining and we're going to enjoy the prosperity health and greatness of his kindness and love will spread and illuminate all dark spots amen